The last time that the public heard about the progress in the case involving Collins Jumaisi, the main suspect in the quarry killing saga, was roughly a month ago, when the magistrate at Akiambu Law Court questioned why he appeared before him, yet the matter fell within the Makadara Law Court's jurisdiction. Were it not for the news that Collins had escaped earlier today, it would have gone largely unnoticed that he was quietly moved from Kayole Police Station, where the public knew he was being held, to Gigiri Police Station, where police claim that the daring escape happened. Haya mambo yote yako katika harakati ya uchunguzi. Na wale unao niuliza kwamba ni akinanani hawa, ni police officers wale walikuwa wana jukumu la kuhakikisha usalama wa hii police station ya Gikiri iko salama na wafungwa ambao walikuwa ndani ya hizo cells a signal report which ntv is in receipt of claims that police officers made a routine visit to the cells at 5 a.m. along with the canteen manager to serve the prisoners their breakfast however upon opening the cells they discovered that 13 prisoners had escaped by cutting the wire mesh at the basking bay one of the prisoners who they see escaped was Collins Jumaisi. Here is the problem with the report issued by the police, however. Several contradictions have been made regarding the alleged escape. For starters, a source within the police intimated to NTV that the canteen manager did in fact serve breakfast to Jumaisi in the morning and two other men were part of the group of Eritrean men who had been arrested for being in the country illegally. Further, there is the matter of roll call which takes place at least three times during the night, as well as at 6 a.m. when there is a change in shifts between police officers manning the station at night and in the daytime. If indeed the suspects had escaped at night as the signal report alludes to, wouldn't the officers on night duty have been the first to raise an alarm instead of waiting until the morning? Then there is the issue of how Gigiri police station is structured in such a manner that it would make it easy to detect suspects who have fled as it only has one gate that leads to the main road along Crescent Avenue in Gigiri which has a great deal of security presence due to the United Nations being situated there. This is not the first time the police have been sloppy in securing the imprisonment of suspects. In February this year, Kelvin Kangede, a fugitive and the main suspect in the murder of a woman named Maggie Mbitu, also escaped from Mudaiga police station before he was later found and arrested. Like Gigiri, Mudaiga police station also has a structure which makes it difficult to escape from. So far, eight police officers have been interdicted and are said to be in custody over the alleged prison escape.